All right, this shall be the last video for vectors. So the last concept or the type of question that can show up is you have to show reflection between two points. So ref over here, by reflection, I mean that say we have two points, OA and OB. So I have to show that OB is basically a reflection of the point OA uh, to the plane. So basically the plane acts as a mirror and reflects OA across all the way across to OB. So, step one is you find the midpoint of AB. So, if I calculate, let, I'll call I'll call it OM. So, to calculate OM, the midpoint of OB. Sorry, midpoint of AB. So, five plus minus one four four upon two. I get two. Then 3 plus 1, 4 upon 2, again I get 2, and then 1 plus 3, 4 upon 2, 2. So my midpoint of the points A and B is 2, 2, 2. That's step 1. Step 2 is I plug in the midpoint into the R of the plane. So the midpoint, that was 2, 2, 2. R of the plane, the plane is r dot 3 1 minus 1 equals to 6 so 3 1 minus 1 equals to 6 now so the idea is if the two sides are equal that means that the midpoint lies on the plane and if the midpoint lies on the plane it means that the two points OA and OB are equidistant from the plane so, I'll solve this 2 into 3, 6 plus 2 minus 2 equals to 6. 2 and 2 cancel out, I get 6 equals to 6. This means that point A and point B are equidistant from the plane. The last step, you have to find the vector AB. Now, Let's find vector AB. OB is minus 1, 1, 3. A is 5, 3, 1. So, minus 1, minus 5, 6. Then we have 1, minus 3, and 3, minus 1. So, 1, minus 3, minus 2, 3, minus 1, 2. So, this is the vector AB. Now, we'll compare this with the normal to the plane. The normal to the plane was 3, 1, minus 1. Now, the idea is that if this vector AB is, somewhat, is a scalar multiple of the normal, then it means that AB is perpendicular to the plane. And if, it's a, if AB is perpendicular to the plane, this means that the two points are a reflection of each other so we have shown reflection so AB can be written as minus 2 and then 3 1 minus 1 and this over here is the normal so the vector AB is indeed a scalar multiple of the normal so since the vector AB is a scalar multiple of the normal and the midpoint lies on the plane we can say that the two points are equidistant from each from the plane and the vector AB is perpendicular to the plane so the two points are reflected through the plane which means that we have shown the reflection that's it for the entire topic of vectors uh, if you do not get anything, please leave it in the comments below and we'll make sure we get the queries done.